uh, mahali popote ulipo welcome na kukaribisha kwa mafundisho ya usiku wa leo uh, a very sensitive topic tonight understanding battles of the mind understanding battles of the mind manake ni muhimu sana kuelewa vita vya mawazo sana kwa sababu there are so many people ambao bado yeye imekuwa ngumu sana and that's why leo na usiku wa leo tunaangalia the battles of the mind karibu sana mahari ulipo welcome akina gradis i can see you welcome aha mahari popote unanitegea ah uh, yes <clears throat> James Maina <laughs> karibu sana mamake Kevin karibu sana mahari ulipo help me to share wacha tubarikiwe pamoja understanding the battles of the mind a very interesting topic <clears throat> Amos Nixon anasema kwamba kwa tio ni kabisa ya yeah, kafe na kafura jogo na leo umeingia mapema <laughs> <laughs> Karibu sana mahari ulipo. Hayo me to share tag your friend. Ita rafiki yako mwambie sichelewe. Wacha tuingie kwenye topic muhimu sana Yunis. Getao karibu sana. Wacha tuangalie the battles of the mind. The battles of the mind. Takuonyesha ni mambo yanafunga mawazo. Ah uh, vile shetani huwa anafunga mawazo ya watu wengi sana and how to be delivered from that. Pieton, Evangelist Michael. <laughs> Karibu sana, karibu sana. Thank you, thank you Jennifer Mark. Ah, Rachel from Qatar. Eh? Huh? Ah, ukiingia nisaidie, help me to share, help me to share. Help me to share. Wacha watu wabarikiwe. Nims. Ah, Nims wa Kiberia huko kwa number one. <laughs> yes, mother, karibu sana. How can you afford to miss this one how eh hey na ben kima tarehe umeingia mapema sana ha eh? mko na karo murevi ukiingia una share ukiingia una share ah uh, bogwa jana tunasema kwa backlogged kabisa ah <laughs> uh, yeah yeah thank you thank you <clears throat> niambie uko wapi alice mwangi karibu sana Yes. <clears throat> Tag your friend help me to share. Tunaingia mambo very interesting tonight. The battles of the mind. Ah, uh, battles of the mind, very very interesting. Aha, aha. Masikwin karibu sana, karibu sana. So wherever you are tag your friend help me to create a watch party. Uh, Yoranda karibu sana. You can share kwa groups kadhaa. Evangelist Michael you can come share now. <laughs> Meet you Evangelist Steven. <coughs> ah, James Maina ananiambia kwamba watu wa Dubai wako. I have seen you watu wa Dubai. Very very interesting. Watu wa Germany, watu wa Germany wako, watu wa Germany. Ah, oh, apida karibu sana. <laughs> Texas. Aha. Eh hey, Ben Kim unaona leo Ezeke Maondo amechelewa. Royce Dirango karibu sana. Majef. Eh hey, waja joroge karibu. Hey, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Shiko kawabo ameingia. Hey, uh, Ajerina Rosemary Kemani. Eh. Hey. Pia tunafanya kazi ya majabu sana hapa anazidi kuinvite watu. Aha. Uh, get ready to hear jiadai tusikize tumesema ukiingia niambie uko wapi kana kwamba ni mara yako ya kwanza na kana kwamba umeshea ili tuendelee vizuri okay nimsi nimo karibu sana karibu sana understanding the mind leo tunaitambua sana about mind uh, na tutaangalia mambo very 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 deep Magi magi unasema kwamba si tuko tuko grace hapa na tumebarikiwa niambie uko wapi Ama ah. <laughs> jeremy kwa nasema kwamba ameshia kwa groups zote <laughs> Ah ya ya Yes eh hey, charity kia kwa wapi muite eh hey, mkaribisha na watu wote wa wa area eh. Margaret Janet 
Are you there? So don't miss this one. Oh, uh -huh. thank you, thank you. Kwa wale ambao umeingia Mungu amariki sana, wale ambao unaingia God azidi kumbariki. Wale ambao unafanya kazi ya kukreate watch party, God bless you. Ah, Sofia kiyo mwanasema kwa already amefanya kazi mzuri sana ameshare. Nani mwingine ambaye ameshare hapa? Who else? Who else ambaye ameshare hapa? Mm, the battle. Tuangalie yale mambo yanafunga mawazo. Ah, uh, na lazima leo tuchambue Bible. Yes. What a wonderful day. Lea karibu sana. Lea karibu sana. Oh, ndio watu wa vika. <laughs> wow, karibu tena sema koma. <laughs> wow, 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 thank you. Noni noni Manchester. Washuka delitu. Hmm? Wa 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 wa. Niambie uko wapi? Niambie uko wapi? Niambie uko wapi? Niambie uko wapi? Wacha tubarikiwe pamoja. Niko na dakika kama mbili hivi au tatu before we start. Karibisha rafiki yako, you can tag your friend. You can create a, create a watch party there. <clears throat> tonight is a great night. Tonight is a great night. Dan Mwangi. Eh, hey, mere ga dogo. Karibu sana. <laughs> ah, watu wa bahari ni mewaona. Oh, triple M. <laughs> He uno ni wa Kenya he eh? oh ni kahawa he eh? <laughs> ah amos amesema kwamba ameshare already god bless you so much mother karibu sana watu wa Greece how are you doing an <laughs> ah yeah yeah so we are about to pray we are about to pray tuko karibu kuomba sasa Ah wow. Pastor Roy sana sana kama mwagrisha watu wa Moranga. <laughs> How is referred? Karibu sana mtumishi wa Mungu. Ah uh, Kate wa Zero. How are you doing? The battles of the mind, the battles of the mind. Saturday kwa tunaangalia catering topic special. Ah uh, tuko almost kumaliza book of revelation. Ah uh, some of us are how are you doing? Alika mpaka familia waambiwa kuja hapa tubarikiwe pamoja in the name of Jesus. Help me to share, help me to share, help me to share. Wacha watu wabarikiwe. Wacha baba nene mio ya watu wengi sana. Uh, lazima utalipwa, lazima utalipwa. Jeb chumba. Hey, na umepotea sana Jeb chumba. Eh? Muhammad wa wazima man. Where are you? <laughs> Muhammad wa zima man. Eh bado haji ingia kama ni tie Muhammad wa Zimaman. Ili tubarikiwe vizuri sana hapa. Ya, yeah, wacha tuombe pamoja. <laughs> Ili tuendelee vizuri sana hapa. Haleluya, haleluya. Thank you Jesus. Eh hey, by the way si Jonas sana nekesa hapa. Aha. Baba kalika jina takatifu Roho Mwana Yesu Kristo. Asante baba kwa neema yako. Asante baba kwa nguvu zako. Ni wewe baba huu unanena na maisha yetu. Ni wewe baba huu unatunenea. Umetuandalia meza baba ili baba useme nasi. Kuna kiri ya mtu umeandalia watu wako. Baba uma, maisha yetu na badilisho na Bwana. Wakati baba tunachambua vita vyote baba vya mawazo. Tunajua kwamba mawazo yetu yanakombolewa, maisha yetu yanakombolewa. Watu wako baba wanakombolewa in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ oh God. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your anointing oh God. Thank you for your deliverance Father. Asante kwa kile baba unatenda. Asante kwa ile miujiza unatenda Bwana. Tunatangaza usiku wa leo sio wa kawaida. 
ni usiku baba maajabu yanatendeka ni usiku miujiza inatendeka ni usiku baba watu wanakomolewa ni usiku maroho yatazidi kuwa chini ya miguu yetu in the name of Lord Jesus Christ of God maana nao tumetamko kinyume na siku leo tumeyakataa covenant zote mbaya zimewekwa hazina nguvu in Jesus mighty name maroho yote yanakamata mili ya watu wako maroho yote yanakamata mawazo yao maroho yote yanakamata familia zao maroho yote yanakamata mikono yao maroho yote yanakamata biashara zao tumeyaleta chini ya miguu yetu in the name of Lord Jesus Christ of God tunatangaza baba ni wewe unatawara roho mtakatifu ni wewe unatawara ni wewe unatunenea ni wewe unatenda makubwa hey, ni wewe unanenea mio hii sasa in Jesus mighty name i silence all the powers of darkness right now i got no zote mbaya nimezikata all the monic covenant all the monic foundations i silence them now i silence all those foundations now katika jina la Yesu Kristo Father asante kwa nguvu zako Asante baba kwa uwezo wako. Asante baba kwa miujiza yako usiku wa leo. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your glory. Thank you for your glory Father. Thank you for your glory. Thank you for your glory oh God. Baba tunajua kama cancer ina disappear. Tunajua kama arthritis ina disappear. Tunajua kama magojo ba hayaeleweke na disappear. Tunajua kama tumors ina disappear right now in Jesus mighty name oh. Magojo yote ya joint Father. Aha. We be Declare your healing in Jesus mighty name. We declare your healing father. We command agano zote mbaya zidisappear. Tumekata ndoto mbaya. Tumekata ndoto zote mbaya. Tumekata ndoto zote mbaya. Let there be your move of God. Let there be manifestation of your glory. Let there be manifestation of your power. Let there be manifestation of your anointing. Mm-hmm. Let there be manifestation of God of your favor in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Ah shala babo shemala babo nadanda riko rekeze bekana baba zana garaboza rima mazete kariba bazobi ya shonogo yeo te baba taingia mahari hapa maisha yake hayata baki ya kawaida somebody yake hayata baki ya kawaida watoto wake baba hawata baki wa kawaida ila baba ushindi wako unadhihirika maadhabu yako yanaonekana thank you for what you doing asante kwa miujiza baba asante na kwa nguvu zako jidhihirisha na ujionyeshe kwa maana uko hapa na unatenda thank you father kariga jina la Yesu Kristo tunubana hata kuamini amen and amen <coughs> ehe karibu sana mahali ulipo right now wacha tuingie teresia karibu sana wacha tusome neno la Bwana tujue kile ambacho baba nataka kutunenea na mimi nakomba lazima baba atanena nasi whoever you are believe god there is something that is going to happen in your life lazima kuwe kuna maajabu yanatendeka usiku wale whoever you are wale ambao wanaingia wale ambao wameingia already wale ambao wana share god bless you so much something must happen tonight something must happen tonight in the name of jesus christ This is a time. This is a moment right now. If hauja share, share to your friend. Arika mwenzako mwambie kuje. Wacha tubarikiwe pamoja in Jesus mighty name. The battles of the mind, the battles of the mind. Ni nini huwa kinafunga mawazo? Ni milago gani shetani anatumia kufunga mawazo? Yanafanya kazi namna gani mawazo watu ambao wameokoka? Ni nini kinafanyika? What are the attacks? Ni maro gani shetani anajaribu kuleta pale yanayotaka mawazo I believe after this someone kuna watu ambao mawazo yao yatakombolewa kuna watu ambao mawazo yao yatafunguliwa kuna watu ambao mawazo yao ah baba hata yaweka huru in Jesus mighty name maneka this one is very interesting hey hey asante asante kwa wale ambao wameingia get this now Mhm. Wewe mm-hmm. <laughs> pasa mwenye unaingia kwa umecherewa. Pasa mwenye ni nini? Au ulikuwa pale ulikuwa na ndara bado na mjengo eh? <laughs> so listen to me now. Kwa wale ambao wamenifuatilia kuna kitu ambacho nimekuwa nikielezea. Nataka unitegee. Nilisema kwamba kuanzia Genesis in the book of Genesis. Wakati Mungu aliumba Adam. Adam alikuwa na spirit. Adam alikuwa na soul na alikuwa na body very 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 important to know that 
So alikuwa na spirit na alikuwa na soul na alikuwa na body. Na nikasema kwamba kwenye spirit ya binadamu kuna intuition inamsaidia ku discern the presence of God, kujua mambo ya Mungu, ku receive from God. Kuna fellowship, you worship God with your spirit. Get that? And also there is what we call conscience. Tukasema kwamba hizo vitu tatu ziko kwenye spirit ya binadamu. Alafu tukasema kwamba kwa soul kuna mind, kuna I will na kuna emotions. Ziko kwa soul. Na tukasema hivi ya kwamba Adam wakati alitenda dhambi, oh before attend dhambi, Mungu alikuwa na communicate na yeye through his spirit. Kwa maana any time Mungu anataka communicate na wewe, ana communicate na wewe kupitia kwa roho yako, si kwa mawazo, kupitia kwa your spirit. Garat. Kwa, kwa hivyo Mungu alikuwa na, na, na Adam, alikuwa anamwona naye kupitia kwa roho yake. Na ukisema kwamba kwa hivyo kulikuwa na macho ya kiroho yalikuwa yamefunguliwa ya Adam. Tukasema kwamba macho ya soul ya Adam hayakuwa yamefunguliwa. Maana Mungu hako nataka Adam mwenyewe ajiamulie mambo. Mungu alikuwa anataka Adam amuongoze kutoka ndani yake. Amuongoze kutoka kwa roho yake. Hakutaka afikirie kile anaona ni kizuri. Hakuwa nataka yeye ajiamulie kile ni kizuri. That's why macho ya soul yalikuwa yamefungwa. Na Adam alikuwa anatumia macho ya spirit yake. Bali shetani akagundua siri, kajua kwamba this what happening. Na kajua kwamba siri kubwa sana hapa. Ni yakuja hapa na jaribu. Adam na Eve akajaribu Eve pale. Na kamonyesha tunda linafaa. Macho akaangalia. Kamwambia kwamba ukira lini tunda. Mungu alikuwa anajua kwamba utafunguka macho yako. Tukasema kwamba yale macho yalikuwa na lengo mahali pale ni macho ya soul, sio ya spirit, ni macho ya soul. And that's what happened. Wakati alikuwa lile tunda, macho ya soul, macho ya soul yakafunguka. And don't forget from there. Soul kuna mind, kuna I will na kuna emotions. Kumaanisha Adam wakati alitenda dhambi macho ya soul yalifunguka na dimension mbaya na dimension ya shetani maana kadar was not the dimension of god mini macho ya soul yalianza kuona kulingana na vile Adam anaona but spirit ya Adam kuanzia hapo ikakufa na kuanzia hapo binadamu anazaliwa spirit yake ikiwa imekufa Mimi Mungu hazi communicate na yeye kupitia kwa spirit kwa sababu imekufa. Kaka unisikiza na unitegee. Adam alipotenda dhambi spirit yake ilikufa. Macho ya soro yakafunguka. Na mwili wake, get this now, ukawa sasa ni body of sin. Ukawa unaitwa body of sin. That's how kusoma kwa New Testament. Mwili unaitwa mwili wa dhambi. Ukaingiwa na dhambi hata mwili ukafa kwa ajili ya dhambi. Dhambi ikawa ina control mwili. Soul ikawa macho yamefunguka kwa dimension mbaya. Na kuanzia hapo shetani akajua siri kubwa sana ya kwamba ataleta vita. Na leo nitegea tusome Bible tuone vile Bible inasema kwa sababu kwa spirit kuna vita vinaguza your spirit kuna vita vinaguza your soul na kuna vita vinaguza your body nataka unitegee so kuna vita vinaguza your spirit eh kuna vita vinaguza your soul na kuna vita vinaguza your body but tonight naongea zile vita zinaguza your mind your mind very very interesting na one of these days tutaangalia kwamba zile vita zinaguza your spirit na sababu inasema kwamba hatupigani vita vya mwili na damu ni vya kiroho. Na ndipo sasa watu wao naomba you need to you need to understand how to pray spiritual prayers. There is what we call spiritual prayers. Spiritual prayers very 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 important. So angalia hiyo Bible nao. Nataka iongalie hiyo Bible sasa. Na tunasema kwamba if kuna kitu very important ni mind ya binadamu. Na wala bao wamekuwa hapa nasi tumesema kwamba kazi ya mind ni gani 
kazi yake ya mind it is to think think imagine to recollect and understand haya mambo yanafanyikia kwa mind unafikiria sasa na mawazo yako una imagine na mawazo yako una recollect na mawazo yako so when mawazo yako yana problem kuna problem manake mind yako ni very very important no one the bible says as a man thinking so he is vile anafikiria divyo alivyo so mind is very very important and as soon as you kuna watu ambao mawazo yao yamefungwa kwa sababu kuna mambo yana affect mawazo unakuta kwamba environment ile unakaa ina affect your mind awezi liganisha watu ambao wamelelewa town na watu ambao wamelelewa village ni tofauti sana the way mind set yao iko ni tofauti maana ile environment inakaa ina control your mind mind set yako inaligana na ni na ile environment imelelewa not only that not only that aga unisikize kacha still na affect mind ya mtu eh pa mase queen kuna hiyo maombi nitakuja kufundisha haya maombi <laughs> So environment in affect your mind. Kacha in affect your mind. Kacha in affect your mind. Unakuta kwamba kuna watu fulani wanaamini mambo fulani na hayo mambo huwezi yatoa kwa mawazo yao. <laughs> Anakuambia si tunaamini hivi so kacha yao kacha or religion in affect mind. Na ndipo sasa Paul yakiongea anasema strongholds zinakuwa formed kwa mind. That's why tonight tuna dinner strongholds ambazo ziko kwa mind. Kwa mawazo yako kuna strongholds inafungua pale. That's it. Very very interesting. Just follow me. Tumesema kwamba environment in effect if umelelewa town kuna mambo ya kwamba unaona kwamba unayafanya just like that. Awezi ligadisha mtu ambaye amelelewa ruda na mtu ambaye amelelewa eneo nyingine mawazo ni tofauti wanafikiria tofauti sana maana kuna vile mawazo yake yamekuwa formed kacha still education education masomo masomo yana affect mind ya mtu masomo yana affect mind ya mtu na still experience experience in affect mind mind ya mtu yana mambo umekuwa experience nayo yana affect your mind so kuna mambo mine very important although utatambua kwa undani so you need to understand environment in as affect your mind kacha or a region in as affect your mind that's why kuna watu ambao wako kwa dini wanasema kwamba dini yetu inasema awezi mtoa hapo kwa maana hiyo kitu imekuwa formed kwa mawazo yake meaning the region inafunga mawazo awezi mtoa sema ni hivi mawazo yake masomo kulingana vile uli, uliambiwa ukisoma hiyo kitu inafunga uwezi toa alafu experience ambayo uko nayo Ina, inafanya kukuwa na mindset Now don't forget this before tuchambue mindset yako ni very very important manake your mindset ina determine your attitude your inner setting na your mentalities mentality yako ina depend na your mindset attitude yako ina depend na your mindset inner setting zako zina depend na your mindset that's what is very important kuangalia yale mambo yanafunga mawazo watu tusome vile bible inasema angalia bible vile inasema 
Wacha nirudie hapo kwa sababu nitakuja kuchambua kwa undani. Nimesema kwamba kuna watu ambao education get this now. Anybody abana nisikize hiyo understand that. Education lazima ya affect your mind. Ukiana ukifundishwa kuna mama wazo wako unafikiria kurgana vile ulifundishwa. Meaning education inaleta mindset. Ile environment mahali umelelewa. If umelelewa mahali watu walikuwa na kunywa pombe una hiyo kitu inakuwa hapa mahali umelelewa in affect your mind kacha or a region na experience mambo mine muhimu sana na kesema kwamba your mindset determine your attitude your inner settings na your mentality Let me show you something. Let me show you something. If Mungu anataka kunena na wewe. <laughs> if Mungu anataka kunena na wewe. Ujua kwamba ananena through your spirit. Taka unitege. If Mungu anataka kunena na wewe, ananena through your spirit. Iko ndani your spirit. Na kwa your spirit kuna intuition ambayo Mungu anaitumia kutunenea. If kuna wili ya Mungu Mungu anaingiza ndani yako atanenea your spirit na kinenea your spirit now spirit yako lazima ikopalate na your mind spirit yako inadurisha your mind get that now sasa hilo jambo likija kwa your mind nao unalifanya au nisikize so unanenea from your spirit hiyo information that talk from your spirit inakuja inapitia kwa your mind Then from there inakuja kwa your body unaifanya. Mimi if my yako ina problem, ile information or spirit amenenea your spirit, haita penetrate kwa your mind. Haya, bado nitage. Laino na kuhubiria kile na kuambia before kiingia kwa your spirit kinapitia kwa your mind unakianalyze pasa anasema namna gani kwa sababu the message i'm giving you inaingia kwa your mind lazima na, lazima kile nakuambia ki defeat your mind it is a must neno la bwana lazima re defeat your mind kwa sababu if nimekuambia message itapita kwa your mind uweze kufikiria vile anasema namna gani ni nini ni nini so unaweza debate na kitu umeambiwa kikosa kupana truth kwa mind yako na kikikosa kupanda tweet kwa mind yako hakitasaidia nataka unisikize hakitasaidia your spirit so ukisikia information lazima ingie kwa your mind alafu from your mind now ingie kwa your spirit if your spirit anakunenea anakunenea from your spirit so atanenea your spirit then spirit in a name mind then ufanye kile umeambiwa so if mind that's what tunasema kwamba mind ni battlefield kwa mind yako ni battlefield whether kitu kinatoka inje information inatoka inje or information inatoka na dani from the holy spirit holy spirit anakunenea from within get this now holy spirit anakunenea from within akinena na dani lazima kile ananena kia right na your mind if mind yako ina problem Unakuta kwamba you broke yourself. You will broke the move of God. You will broke the anointing of God. Kwa maana mawazo yako yamefungwa. That's why the Bible says we are supposed to put down all imaginations. Maana kuna imaginations zinaweza kuwa formed kwa your mind. This will lead you the Holy Spirit in you. This will lead the move of God. Tao ni skiza na raha bondi elewe manake hii nataka kuingia before nianze kwa sababu I'm laying the foundation. Na nimesema kwamba kwa wale wanua geni mara ya kwanza binadamu ana spirit ana soul na body na soul hapo ndipo kuna mind. Na nikasema kwamba Mungu akikunenea hanenei your mind ananenea your spirit manake holy spirit anakaa kwa your spirit. So akikunenea atanena kwa your spirit. 
nayo spirit that's what ukuta kwamba mind yako lazima yakuwe spirit <laughs> lazima kuwa ni mind ya spirit ya mind spirit ya kuwa na skiza skiza kile roho anaongea ndani yako manake Mungu akiongea alafu mawazo yako yawe yamefungwa but have you realized Mungu akikunenea ukuwa na stress au wakati unafikiria mambo mengine hata hauta yale akana kwamba amekunenea usaisukia kwamba as long get this now as long as mawazo yamefungwa au tayari kuna mtu ambaye ana mawazo mingi sana ana mawazo mingi sana mkikaa mkiangaliana hata ukimwogeresha unaweza kutoka kwamba na kuangalia unaona kana kwamba nasikiza but mawazo yake already yamefungwa kile unamwambia hakiwezi kupenetrate kwa mind yake na kikosa kupenetrate akitaingia kwa spirit and that's why mind yako ni very 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 important very very important na ukikosa kuelewa hivi hautaelewa vile Mungu huwa anaongea maana ke Mungu haogei na nje Mungu anaogea from within maana ke the Holy Spirit is in you Holy Spirit ataongea kutoka kwa ndani yako kwa spirit yako wakati pasa na hubiri atahubiri kutoka nje kama sasa na kuhubiria kile na kuhubiria lazima kipitie kwa mind na unisikize kipitia kwa mind uanalyze unjua kwamba hii kitu pasa anaongea ni kwa uanze sa reason hii kitu ni ukweli au si ukweli lazima ipitie kwa mind if neno la bwana halita defeat mind yako halita penetrate kwa spirit na utakuta kwamba halita kusaidia ile neno limekuwa broke kwa your mind likosa kuingia kwa your spirit hilo neno halikusaidii That's why anybody who received the miracle of the Bible ni mtu ambaye ari defeat mawazo yake alikosa kutii mawazo yake anatii kile Mungu anasema <laughs> Ah ebu maji watu kumu wenye ukoma wanaambia Jesus Christ have mercy on us then Jesus anamwambia namna gani Eden mkajionyesha kwa kuhadi na unatua ina kona sudero unafaa kujionyesha kwa kuhani as long as umepona na hawajapona so wakisikiza mawazo yao they are still sick bado kidore kimekatika still wana pain kwa mwili so wakiagree na mawazo yao wakiagree na mawazo yao they are still sick but imagine Jesus anasema namna gani edeni mkajionyeshe kwa hivyo wakifuata mawazo yao wataona ni wagojwa wakifuata kile Yesu Kristo amesema hawatajiona ni wagojwa wataenda wakienda kwa priest waulizwe nani amemtuma hapa watasema ni chiza tujionyeshe kwa maana ametuambia tuje tujionyeshe kena sio lazima kile chiza amesema ki defeat vile wanafikiria na vile wanaona mambo yanakaa oh Imagine Jesus Christ. Alikuwa anakuta mtu ambaye akona withered hand. Anamwambia stretch your hand. <laughs> Kuligana na mawazo yake hawezi. Kwa maana ni mgodwa. But kuligana na Jesus anasema kwamba lazima stretch mkono. That's why battle kubwa sana inakuwa kwa mind. No wonder ili mtu aokoke kile kinafaa ku change ni mind repentance the bible says repent and believe the gospel can you hear that repent and believe the gospel repent and believe the gospel what is repentance repentance is metanoia it is a change of mind so you cannot believe the gospel unless you first repent you must change your mind Then you do what? I only skiz and on it again. Man, this is very very important. I'm laying the foundation before to near Bible. Nimesema ukiokoka you repent. But nasema kwamba repent and believe the gospel. To repent is to change your mind. Bona una change your mind. Get your Bible now. Get your Bible now. 
Get your Bible now. Raga unisikize na unitegee. Second Corinthians chapter number 4 verse number 4. Second Corinthians chapter number 4 verse number 4. Second Corinthians chapter number 4 verse number 4. Na kwa unisikize na unitake vizuri sana. Second Corinthians 4.4. Mbaibu inasema na mna gani. Sikize. The God of this age, Satan, has blinded the minds of unbelievers. Can you hear that? So unbelievers, kire kime kamato ni mawazo yao. Shetani ana blinded the mind of unbelievers. Wacha nirudie. Second Corinthians chapter number 4 verse number 4 The God of this age has brightened the minds the minds the minds get this now of unbelievers so that they cannot so that they cannot see the light of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ who is the image of God can you hear that Satan am a brightened their mind was seeing the light of the gospel Mimi if mawazo yako yamefungwa you cannot see the light of the gospel Watu ambao hawajaamini the gospel kile kimekamatwa ni mawazo yao yamefungwa Shetani amekamata mawazo yao amefunga mawazo yao ameyaweka giza ili wasione the right ame brighten the mind if kuna kitu shetani anafuata kwa believer na raga unisikize ni mind Why? Manake after. Get this and I'm going to hapa. Wacha nirudie hiyo verse tena. The God of this age has brightened the minds of unbelievers. Watu ambao hawajaamini ni mawazo yao yamefungwa na shetani. Meaning you are able to control mawazo yao ni shetani. Ameaweka giza wasione the light of the gospel. Kwa maana shetan anakimbizana na your mind. Get this now. Manaka even you after receiving salvation. Manaka ukiokoka. Tulisema kwamba unapewa new spirit. Holy spirit anaingia kwa your spirit. But Bible haisemi kwamba unapewa you by the way you don't receive new mind. Ukiokoka you don't receive new mind. You renew kila wakati. You renew. That's why mind is very important manake. Kila time unafaa ku renew. Usipo renew utaona kwamba shetani anaweza tumia your mind. Anaweza kufunga your born again, but anaweza funga mawazo yako. Ukuo uko born again but born again is stressed. Ukuo uko born again but born again is depressed. Ukuko born again but born again ambaye sasa hata haoni usingizi. Born again ambaye mnakaa naye mnaongea anaongea zaidi ya vile huwa anaongea. Anaongea mawazo yake yako affected. Mapepo yana attack mind. That's why tonight anything na jaribu ku attack your mind lazima tuyamrishe ni sapie. Maroho yote mabaya yana attack your mind lazima tuyamrishe ya disappear in Jesus mighty name. Manake mawazo yako ni very important. So ukiokoka your spirit nafanya upya. But your mind nafaa kuwa renewed. Renewed daily. So angalia another verse. Angalia another verse here. Second Corinthians chapter number 10. Second Corinthians hapo tu hapo tu bere chapter number 10. Second Corinthians chapter number 10. Second Corinthians chapter number 10 verse 3 verse 3 4 and 5 Nataka unitegee vizuri sana For though we live in this world Aha we do not wage war as the world does Okay the weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world uh, On contrary They have divine power to demolish what is strong hearts. So zile weapons za vita zinaweza ku demolish the strong hearts. Wapi? Verse 5. We demolish arguments and every pretension. Pretension that is set itself up against the knowledge of God. 
meaning wakati you have the knowledge of god kuna kitu kwa your mind there is a stronghold in a block that in a let argument kwa your mind unaanza ku debate kwa mwanzo unaweza ku debate unaweza ku debate maana kionele kuna stronghold imekuwa formed na kuna watu ambao hata sasa hivi wananisikiza kwa mind yao kuna stronghold maybe ni vile walifundishwa ndaso ndaso unakuta kwamba unaweza somewa neno na Bwana lakini kwa maana kuna vile ulikuwa umefundishwa before we agree it takes time maana there is a stronghold that's why it is very very important ni nini umekumbarisha kiingia ndani yako maana kana maana kana funga your mind if the information baya inaweza funga your mind look at this vile babu inasema hapa we take captive every thought we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ tunashika mateka mawazo Paul inasema hivi anasema kwamba kwa mawazo kuna vita kuna stronghold kuna blocks in the the knowledge of God kuna mawazo ya Paul hayafai maana yake kuna vita kwa mind vita kubwa sana ni kwa mind ukiwini battle kwa mind umewin au nisikize fresh na spirit nisikize roho na mwili zinapigana kwa mind if roho amewin umekuwa spiritual minded if ni mwili umewin umekuwa carnal minded so kwa vita hapa kuna ligana nani ambaye amewin maana kesha shetani tumeona kwamba anakamata mind na kuna watu mao hata mawazo yao yamekamatwa that's what tonight tunataka to declare the deliverance kwa mawazo yetu through the word of god look at this now tago ni foto na unitege hapa vizuri sana angalia second corinthians 3:4 Mahari tu pale tu second Corinthians 3 verse number 4 uh, verse number 14 verse number 14 second Corinthians 3 verse number 14 Tagoni tege Let me start verse number 13 We are not like Moses We are not like Moses can you hear that We are not like Moses Hey who has put a veil over his face to keep Israelite from gazing at it while the radiance was fading away so Moses said when talk about Sinai the glory of Moses could face it could fade akajiweka kitambaa watu wasiona kwamba ina fade au nisikize then bible nasema verse 14 but their minds were in fact king james nasema kwamba hardened mawazo yamefanywa magumu hardened meaning mawazo yanazofanywa ngumu hata ukiogea na mtu hasiki sababu mawazo yamefungwa shetani ana brighten mawazo ana harden mawazo maana nasema kwamba mawazo yao yalikuwa hardened kwa nini aga unisikize for to this day the same veil remains when the old covenant is read read it has it has not been removed because only in Christ it is taken away that's it that's what us lakini kuonyesha kwamba tunafaa kuangalia mawazo kwa undani maana ke hapa ndipo ili Mungu akuna naye lazima mawazo yakuwe sawa ili usikie gospel lazima mawazo yakuwe sawa that's why repentance is very important maana ke repentance is a change of mind whether after kuokoka au before kuokoka repentance is very important maana ke it is a change of mind through the knowledge the more you hear the word of god the more mawazo yako yana change that's why you need to renew the mind maana ke shetani anakuwa attack through your mind ma pepo yanakuwa attack through your mind ma jini yanakuwa attack through your mind but wakati my dear come kwa renewed uko sawa i'm laying the foundation 
Angalia hapa sasa. Romans 8 verse number 7. Romans 8 verse number 7. Bwana sema kwamba mind the mind is set on fresh is and enmity against God. Au nisikize. The mind is set on fresh is enmity against God. Mimi if mawazo yako ni ya kimwili ni ya dui ya Mungu. Mungu hapendi mawazo ya kimwili. That's why some mawazo ni very very important. Mawazo mbone ya kimwili ni ya dui ya Mungu. Hata yako ma tuko pamoja. Is about the mind. Vita viko kwa mind. Temptation mingi sana kwa mind. Shetani akitaka kukutempt ni kwa mind. Let me surprise you. Very yes, can you hear this? Mind, the mind governed by the flesh is hostile. It is mind. So kuna depend nini kina govern your mind? It is a holy spirit mwili or shetani. Pastor Monique, can you hear this? Eh, hey, that ago manasema kwa watu kwanza share. <laughs> I like that one. <coughs> Angalia second Corinthians chapter number I'm like the foundation I'm not here. Sina kuonyesha mababa anafunga mawazo. Kuna mababa yanafunga mawazo nitakuonyesha. Na vile unaandaa mawazo yako ili Mungu akunenee. Vile unafaa kufanya mawazo yako. Eh kadi nakuja hapo kwa helmet. Very important. Thank you. Nakuja hapo. That's why we need the helmet. The helmet of salvation. Nakuja hapo. Now look at this. <laughs> Second Corinthians chapter number 11 verse 3. <laughs> Second Corinthians 11 verse 3. Ukiwin hii bato kwisha mapepo hayata kuweza. <laughs> Second Corinthians Chapter number 11 verse number 3. Hebu nisikize. Thank you Kimani Jane unafanya kazi mzuri sana. Hebu angalie vile Paul alikuwa anaambia wa Korintho. Na wa Korintho walikuwa wamejawa na Roho Mtakatifu. Karama za Roho Mtakatifu zikuwa zinafanya kazi. Bali kuna kitu ambacho waliwaambia. Second Corinthians chapter number 11 verse number 3. But I am afraid and I ogopa. Anasema kwamba but I am afraid that just as Eve was deceived by the serpent cunning your mind your mind may somehow be led astray from the sincere and the pure devotion to Christ Can you hear that Paul anambia wa Korintho anaogopa kama vile Eve alikuwa deceived kwa mind yake na shetani Meaning if deception ilikuwa kwa mind Paul inasema kama anaogopa was squared astray from the sincere na devotion ili wanao ya Mungu kupitia kwa mawazo yao Mimi shetani akitaka ku control anajaribu control your mind that's why mind yako inafaa kuwa renewed na kukubalisha neno la Bwana ni control your mind there is new through the knowledge Knowledge ya Kristo, knowledge ya who you are, knowledge ya kile kimefanya juu yako, knowledge ya mama baba amekuondolea. It is good kile Mungu anaongea, anaongea. No wonder the Bible says Paul aliandikia wa Filipi, akasema kwamba have the mind of Christ. Hao akolizo wamenenao hapa. Walikuwa na mikomba, we have the mind of Christ. Mana kada issue is a mind as a man we can so he is Remember na man Aga unisikize sasa Remember na man Alikuwa na ukoma na kuna kare kastana anaweza kalikuwa ni kama Israeli kalikuwa ni part of the covenant kalikuwa anafanya kazi kwa nyumba yake 
Kaka sema kwamba kaangoka kana juu kwamba na by the way for information napenda hanga sana. Tukikapata heaven nitaka kaambia kwamba kanijaribu sana. Hakuna mtu ambaye kwa ameponya ukoma kalikuwa kanajua. The only mtu ambaye kwa ameponya ukoma ni mmoja, Miriam. Madin. Baraka sema kwamba I know Yakob in Israel there is a prophet. Then as a ponya Naaman. Naaman after kuambiwa hivyo na ameambiwa ya namna gani Yakob ni prophet. In the same ya Naaman kuenda kwa prophet aliandika barua ka address king instead of addressing to the prophet. King akaandika barua ya ponye. King akachukua King wa Israel akashindwa. Bona Naaman aniambia hivi. Na mimi siwezi mponya. Akararua nguo zake. Raisha kaskia akasema kwamba aje mpaka kwake kafika kwa mlango wa kuingia kwa nyumba akamwambia kwamba enda Jordan hakumwekea mikono alimdirect mahali ataenda baraka akataka sema kwamba angenituma kwa mito ya kwetu ni mzuri sana akasema kwamba i thought i thought nilikuwa nafikiria the problem was the mind nilikuwa nafikiria So alikuwa na idea yake, alikuwa na mawazo yake. Atakienda kwa Raisha, alikuwa na mawazo yake. Anasema kwamba I thought niko na fikiria. So mawazo yalikuwa almost kumzuilia apokee muujiza wake, mawazo yake. Sasa mtu akamwambia, angekwambia mambo mengine ungefanya. Finally, akaacha kufuata mawazo yake. Akafuata the word of God through Raisha. Kafuata the mind of God. Maana ke once you receive the word, the word of God is the mind of God. That's it. Kile kimezuilia watu wengi sana miuchiza ni mawazo. That's why hata kwa nyumba unawaza instead of kufikiria kile Mungu anasema in the word. Unafikiria kile watu wanasema kile walikuambia vile walikutukana vile walikuambia wewe si kitu unakumbuka vile mwalimu alikuambia unakumbuka vile former boyfriend anakuambia wewe ni bure hiyo ndio unakumbuka hayo mambo ndio yako mind but let me tell you tonight may the word of god renew our minds in jesus mighty name may you enjoy the mind of christ in your life mawazo very important Are we together? Takao ni fote vizuri sana. I laid the foundation here. So mimi unaweza perekwa mtu akija hapa by the way watu wangapi today? Wanahubiriwa. Every day receiving. Karibu sana. Hai, sike juu sana na umepotea sana. Leo nimekuona. Hangu nisikize. Watu wangapi mawazo yao yamefungwa? Madin ni watu wangapi today kile kinawasumbua ni kile watu wanaongea juu yao may you renew that that's why you need to hear more of the words maana kusikia watu wasikia kile Mungu anasema juu yako aha ah eh hey, kama kwa kwanza <laughs> ah mara sadi wewe ati ni ati wale wale walimu primary wewe walikuwa nasema <laughs> <laughs> na nataka unisikize unitege hapa. Maana kile tunataka usiku leo ni mawazo yetu yabadilishwe. Na nimesema kwamba kuna mambo yake kuna stronghold zinakuwa formed kwa mawazo, kwa mind. Kuna bato, kuna vita hapa. Hata watu wengi sana wana vita nitamsamehea si tamsamehea. Eh? That's it. Nitafanya hii si tafanya. Iko kwa mind. The issue is the mind. Ukiwin the battle in your mind is done. It is done. Na usiku leo nimekuja kusaidia mtu a win the battle kwa mawazo yake katika jina la Yesu Kristo. The way you think matters a lot. Au nitaonyesha kwa Bible. Vile Mungu anasema Let's go deeper now. Let's go deeper now. Romans 12 verse 2. Romans 12 verse number 2. The Bible says transformation comes through the renewal of mind. Get that? Transformation comes through the renewal of mind. 
So if your mind is not renewed, akuna transformation it take place. You been metamorphosis. Me, me, you been metamorphosed. Unakuwa change from one level to another. Tayo unisikize? I believe kuna watu ambao waliambiwa wamerogwa mpaka wale hiyo kitu imewafunga ka kitu kabaya ka kitendeka wanaona kurogwa maana hiyo hiyo kitu iko formed kwa mind it is a stronghold thank you fires do not be conformed to this world this age fashioned after Woo! i like this one uh, and adapted to its external superficial customs but be transformed changed that's it by the entire renewal of your mind so transformation comes through the renewal of mind Nasi unakuta kwamba unakuta kwamba kuna kitu kimekuwa formed kwa your mind vile ulilelewa kwenu mpaka wale haujai release vile uliteswa the way you were abused hiyo kitu ikawa formed kwa your mind wale marafiki mlikuwa mnakana wao environment tumesema ina affect that's when now what are we are doing now as you hear this word mawazo yako yanakuwa renewed kile tunafanya tunaya renew through this knowledge mawazo yako yanakuwa renewed yanakuwa renewed na so mpaka doa zina issues maana kuna strong holds kwa mind kuna mawazo you remember that's it kuna doctor mayo ifunishwa iko hapa kuna vile kwenu mnaamini iko hapa But I know it is not about kwa no vile mnaamini it is about to vile bible inasema once you receive the word of god word of god ikikubari woo hey jesus tago diskize that's why mawazo yako yanafaa kuwa protected na ripo sababu inasema kwamba in Ephesians 6 verse 17 bible inasema kwamba put <laughs> on the full armor of god na unakuta kwamba verse 17 bibi inasema kwamba uweke nini the helmet of salvation the helmet of salvation helmet of salvation in a guard your mind kwa sababu iko kwa kichwa so meaning ili mawazo yako kuwe sawa you need to understand about salvation what is salvation it is soteria It is deliverance. It is preservation. It is a honest word. Soteria is a honest word. You need to understand salvation, the provision here about unapokea what happened on the cross. Like we need to get help. Make a story we together. Bible says about the helmet of salvation, the helmet of salvation. Helmet of salvation. Helmet. 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 Na nako ni tege kusema tuweke helmet of salvation does not mean ya kwamba you're not born again. Does not mean ya kwamba you don't have salvation. Remember once you receive Christ and you receive Holy Spirit in your spirit. Your spirit is saved. You have salvation in your spirit. But it's still there is what you call the salvation of your soul. The salvation of your soul. It is not a one day thing no. It is what you call the renewal of mind. The sanctification of your mind. The renewal of mind of your mind. That's what we call salvation of your soul. Na wale ambao wamenifuatilia tumesema kwamba salvation kwa Bible imepeanwa na tenses. Baba anasema kwamba tuliokoka, tunaokoka na tutaokoka. Hii ya kusema kwamba tuliokoka ni salvation inahusu our spirit. Justification ya our spirit. Taka unitege. But hii inasema kwamba tunaokoka ni mind. It is a renewal of mind. Hiyo ndio tunahitaji the helmet. We need to understand salvation. 
Deire. Deire. Are we together? Ile sarvisho tunagoda ni sarvisho ya mili yetu. Maana mili yetu ni mwili wa tambi tutapewa another body. Hiyo ni sarvisho na mili ingine tutapewa tunagoda. But I know to me okoka, but kuna sarvisho ina take place on going work of sarvisho, on going work. Kwa work out your sarvisho, wapi kwa your mind. Kwa your mind. So that's why he helmet have preservation. It is a salvation of the mind. So I'm going to first Thessalonians. Verse 5, chapter 5, verse 8. Mabu nasema kwamba ukuwe na hope of salvation as helmet. It is a hope of salvation. Hope of salvation as helmet. Expectations of good things to come. Na tumesema kwamba salvation is deliverance. It is preservation. To be preserved. Soteria. Soul. So, so if I would understand about salvation. Vizuri. Una kutokoba mawazo yako atakuwa na problem. So the salvation of your soul is daily. Tako nitegea hapa. Na sabu nesema kwa ba, uvai. Awe ito gaya na wina sema uivai. Put on. So mini ini kitu nafa kuifanya. Mini unaweza kosa kuiva. Tako nitegea. Manake ini salvation, it is about your mind. Si salvation of your spirit. Manake salvation of your spirit ni past tense. You are saved. Ini nazima uvai. Sina tell me kuongea about vile hiyo helmet ni mzuri sana ina protect mpaka mind. It is my prayer when the sun ukienda sana kwamba vile Jesus Christ amefanya kwa msalaba ukubali sasa ikuwe kwa hiyo mind ya kwamba woo I'm protected. I'm delivered. Hata wachai wa kidroga hawataniweza. So you are renewing your mind. You are renewing your mind. The helmet of salvation. The helmet of salvation. Unafaa kuivaa daily. Unaangalia vile ulifanywa kwa msalaba, unaamini hivyo, unavaa. Unaangalia vile umefanywa, unaamini hivyo, umevaa. The helmet. Unafaa kuivaa. You are born again. You have the salvation in your spirit, but you have to have. <laughs> Salvation for your mind daily, the renewal of your mind through the knowledge. Pastor did not praise God. To not deal in the mind. Okay, when the battle for your mind, it is over. Understand the salvation of God for your mind. If Nirana Zina Kusumua, Atukuna Ziomea, Ombea Kibiruva Kwamba, I'm delivered. Jesus Christ ni baba rana. That's the mentality you're supposed to have. So, unaoma na mentality ya kwamba I'm free from this. Siko iriga ni kwangu azivai kuni effect. Na ziribuke with that. Are we together? That's it. Unavu kujua kwamba Jesus Christ ame kuondua kwa uchawi. Ame kuondua kwa magodwa. Kwa hivyo kiyombea magodwa. Already you have the helmet of salvation. Kwa mind. So how is this a come on born again in your coca? I have the salvation now. I would attend your mind. No, somebody say, come in a depend now. You are thank you, Carol Morita. Now you are mindset. Helmet of salvation, Unaiva. My boy, say me come on, come on, Unaiva. Put Unaiva, Iva. So ni kuiva, wapi ni mind. So ni renewal of your mind. Kila wakati. Kumanisha kwamba uneza kwa hiyo born again. But u expose my niyako kwa shetani. U expose my niyako kwa doktrimaya. U expose mawazo yako kwa mamamaya. Utakuna kwamba kuna stronghold. Zime kuwa formli kwako. Kuna mawazo yako kwako. Unafamba wina sema magani teka nyara. Haya ya teke yale. Lazima ya ti. Uyaweke chini ya kutikwa kristo. Kutikwa kristo nwapi ni msaraba. 
Mawazo ya mao hayafai ya shike nyara yaweke kwenye kutii kwa Kristo kwa msalaba. If kuna mawazo nakwambia kwamba utakufa come on ya shike teka nyara ya mawazo hayo sio yako. You have the mind of Christ. Why is the mind of Christ? The word of God is the mind of Christ. The helmet of salvation is very very important. Wakati unaweka the helmet you are working out your salvation. You are working out your salvation. Manake already the salvation is in you. That's what you call the ongoing. We have what you call the finished work on the cross and we have the ongoing work. Ongoing me your soul. Finish in here and who's your spirit? <laughs> Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. So hata ikiwa umekataliwa nataka unisikize. Hata ukiwa umekataliwa unaona kwamba umekataliwa. Usikubali kuwa na <laughs> mind yako kukuwa na stronghold ya rejection ati kwamba nimekataliwa. No. Aelewa ya kwamba in Christ I am accepted. So hata ukidini na rejection inje what a mind yako sasa uwe na kwamba in Christ I'm already accepted. Nimekubalika ndani ya Kristo. Na if nimekubalika ndani ya Kristo hata huku kwingine nitakubalika. Are we together? So wakati unaamini hivyo nao unaweka helmet of salvation. Shalababo na karaba. Maybe you are sick. Na umengana na magonjwa for so long. Na unakuta kwamba haya disappear. Kwa mwazo ya kwa mini ya kwa Jesus Christ Ali nibebea magodo yote Iyo sasa ikuesa iyo diyo mindset Ame nibebea Ame nibebea magodo yote Kwa hivyo ukikata magodo Unajua kwa there is on wa unayakata Ni kwa maana olende Umebebewa na Kristo Come on If kurima kuna premature death Inofuata kwenu You need the mindset Ya kwamba I cannot die prematurely Baima nasama kwamba nita fulfill Life span niangu That's a part of the blessing of God Nita fulfill now Hey Shalalala kaloboza So ini u kwa mindi yako Unajua kwamba there is no way you can die Maybe hatu kuko na cancer You cannot die Before you fulfill your assignment that one is a mindset. Na if kuna mawazo nakwambia kama utakufa you put down yale mawazo. Hey come on. <laughs> yale yanaleta argument utakufa no. Bible inasema kwamba put down. Yale mawazo unaondoa kwa sababu umejua mawazo ya kweli ni gani? Kuna mawazo ya uongo na kuna mawazo ya ukweli. Ya ukweli ni Bible. Vile Bible inasema ni ukweli. Vile magonjwa unasema ni uongo. Believe Bible what I magodwa believe bible watana na marafiki marafiki wanakuambia kwamba unalinga sana <laughs> pull down haya mawazo angalia kile bible nasema stick na that one you are renewing your mind come on <laughs> oh jesus Glory be to Jesus. Are we together now? Kile umefanyiwa kwa msalaba believe that. Come on. Hallelujah. Kile Mungu amesema juu yako stick with that one. It doesn't matter the situation. It doesn't matter the environment. It doesn't matter your clan. It doesn't matter your culture. Woo, shalobo sakarabo na keta. Hey, it doesn't matter vile marafiki wanasema. It is about kile Mungu anasema. Mm. Sema kile baba anasema, watana na vile wanasema. Renew your mind. Vile ulikuwa umeweka kwa mawazo yako waachana nayo. Hey, that's the hell you put in the helmet of salvation now. Sasa ina kusaidia kuvaa the helmet. This is the hope. <laughs> Jesus That's why napenda Solomon Kuna vasi inasema kwamba 
Kuna verse inasema kwamba Second Chronicles 28 verse number 9 and as for you my son Solomon know the God of your father and serve him with a whole heart and a willing mind with a willing mind willing mind usiku leo yale mawazo yalikuwa mabaya ndani tumeyateka nyara tumeweka chini ya msaraba in Jesus mighty name chini ya kutikwa Kristo that's it Dragon it again 12:1. Angalia Colossians 3. Colossians 3. My God. We are almost to start eh. I was laying the foundation. Angalia Colossians 3 by wanasema namna gani? Verse 2. Colossians 3 verse 2. Set your minds on things above. Can you hear that? Set set meaning you have power to control your mind wakati unaona kwamba Paul anaandikia wa Korosai anamwambia kwamba set your mind on things above not on other things meaning you can decide kuna angalia mambo ya dunia but you can decide to set your mind iangalia mambo ya heaven woo shalalale hey <laughs> Ah set your minds and keep them thank you for that keep them set on what is above the higher things ah Today I want hapa so my dear ko set on things above ona kile umefanywa wacha kuona kile haujafanywa Ona kile ambacho Jesus Christ ame accomplish. That's a way to renew your mind. Set, set meaning you have power to control your mind. How? How the spirit anakusaidia. Rako zerebo shari mazente karima zanda. Yale mawazo mo hayafai lazima yanyamaze. Yale mawazo ya kushindwa. Ya zima ya nyamaze. Angalia hapa. Paulo akiandikia wa Filipi Philippians 4. <laughs> Philippians 4 verse 8. Nacha nirudie. Grace is mine that's true. You have the power. Anybody here my you have the power. Uskubali the formation of stronghold ndani ya mawazo yako you have the power because of the holy spirit in you to resist na kusema kwamba pana sita set my deal yangu kwa haya mambo nilifanywa sita set my my deal yangu kwa vile wananiambia sita set my deal yangu kwa vile ah set your mind on things above look at this now philippians 4 verse 8 Finally brethren whatever is true can you hear that whatever is true whatever is noble whatever is right whatever is pure hey whatever is lovely ah tunakuja hapa grace baraka tunakuja tunakuja hapa sasa ndipo tunaelekea Whatever is love, whatever is admirable. Woo! Hey, hey. If anything is excellent, I'll praise for thee. Think about such things. Paul anaelezea, pasa mwenye imagine. Paul anaambia wa Filipi hapa, yale mambo atafikiria, anawapea anawapea marking scheme. Anawapea marking scheme. Anasema kwamba kitu kwanza if kitu ni cha ukweli <laughs> na unajua kwamba yule ambaye ni ukweli ni mmoja Kristo is a truth. Bible nasema kwamba namna gani finally brother whatever is true whatever is noble whatever is right whatever is pure whatever is lovely whatever is admirable fikiria haya kwa hivyo kuna mambo haufai kuyafikiria maana you have power over your mind. Hey. <laughs> Kuna mambo nakanywa kufikiria. Anaambia kwamba hii ni manyo angalieni. Yale mambo mtafikiria ni haya. 
Yale boy anaingia kwenye haya kati mambo haya mmeandika hapa. That's it. Mata kali uki positive thinking. That's it. Don't form a stronghold. Manaka shetani anatumia hiyo mind kukuwa attack. Mapema anatumia hiyo mind. Yana za attack mawazo yako. Hallelujah. Ah, I like this one now. Woo! Ah. Usiku wa leo. Aha, aha. Kuna mawazo yanabadilika in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, look at this now. Nataka unitege hii verse nasoma. Hii verse nasoma unitege vizuri sana. Hebrews 8 verse 10. Hey. Hebrews 8 verse 10. I like this one now. I'm going deeper now. We are swimming. Yes. I know kuna watu bora nisikiza, walikuwa naona kushindwa. Walikuwa naangalia foundation za kwao tu. Eh, get this. Na unapea shetani nafasi atumie mawazo yako sasa. Baraka Hebrews 8:10. Ah. Woo, shelebo kori mazali. Remember you have power ya kuteka nyara yale mawazo. Mambaya. You have power. And aso my name no kuna watu right now. Ambie pasta pasta. How now? How now? Remember shule mwanamke bali vumaniwa kizini. Alipoletwa kwa Yesu do you know what happened? Ah, aliambiwa namna gani? <laughs> After kulizo hoya adha ya kiusas. Wamekukodema akasema hapana. Do you know vile alisema nimwambia go and sin no more. How can mwanamke ambaye alikuwa na zini akosa kutenda dhambi tena? She was empowered not to sin. Manake of kuokoka. You receive the nature of God. You have the life of God in your spirit. You have the Zoe in your spirit. That's why you're supposed to reason to your Holy Spirit. To Holy Spirit in your spirit. Now Holy Spirit in your spirit na fa ku control your mind. Maana kama wazo yako na fa ku control na Holy Spirit. Ili kuwa spiritual minded. Na unisikize? Mungu akiongea after the introduction of the new covenant alisema kwamba wakati nitapea na new covenant are we right are we right sheria zangu nitaziandika wapi kwa mioyo yao na kwa mawazo yao are we right my laws in their minds mimi ni kwa mawazo yako we supposed to have the law of god anasema kwa mama le kora bashami vosaka Hey, can you hear me now? Meaning by unasema kwamba ni nini kinafaa control mawazo yako? It is a law. Na nani ambaye ameandika? Mungu. Don't forget. I will impart my laws into their mind. Ni mimi nitaweka sheria zangu kwa mawazo yao. Na zile sheria zilikuwa zinawekwa. Sio 10 commandments zilikuwa zinawekwa hapo. No. Sio 6 that no. They are the laws of the new covenant. The law of faith, the law of love, the law of Christ, the law of grace, the laws of the new covenant zimeandikwa. So imi ni kwa mind yako kuna andikwa love. So you don't struggle to love. Manake once you follow ah, yeah, 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 the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit ndiye anafanya kazi ya kuandika. Nataka unitegee. Holy Spirit second Corinthians 3 ni anaandika. It is not to you. Ni Holy Spirit anaandika kwa mawazo yako. That's why you need to allow the Holy Spirit to control your mind. anaandika unapenda yule <laughs> maana kia zuronge zame andika upendo ndani hawezi huo mtu kuwa mampenda hawezi covet kuwa mpenda mtu hawezi sherati 
as long as unajua kwamba mwili wangu hapana sitautumia vibaya so maana kumeandikwa roho mtakatifu anaandika kwa mawazo yako that's why you need to allow the holy spirit to come through your mind Glory to Jesus, glory to Jesus. Ay 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 ay. Jesus. No other the Bible says in a Bible in a someone magani Paul yakandikia kwambia uko wa Corinth. Ijapokuwa mnafikiria baba Maya, you have the mind of Christ. Why the mind of Christ? Come on through the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit and to pay Holy Spirit go our spirit now and awake the mind of Christ there. That's why your spirit and your mind must agree. Can you hear me now? Maneke your spirit and go control the spirit of God. So lazima sasa mind yako ikuwe aligned na your spirit. Very important. Very very important. Na mimi na kwamba after sermon hii mawazo yako na yako huri in the name of Jesus Christ. After sermon ya siku ya leo chochote kilikuwa kinakamata mawazo yako na disappear. Whether ni maroho mabaya nitakwambia kwa nini watu wanaotando tomaya I'm going to show you right now. So get this now. Nagani kupe ground sita zinapea shetani nafasi kuopalate kwa mawazo yako. Nataka unitegee. Nataka nikupe ground sita. Yes, mero elimu that's a word. Mind yako lazima i submit to your spirit. Manake unafaa kuwa governed from your spirit. Spirit yako na control mind. Mind na control body. Can you hear that? Spirit yako sababu kwa your spirit that's why you have the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit na anaongea na your spirit. Then spirit na control mind. Then mind na control body. Rosemary kama anasema kwamba bado anasikiza. <laughs> Nataka nikupe mambo sita. Yanafanya shetani yakamate mawazo ya watu. Na nitakuonyesha kwamba signs za watu ambao mawazo yao yamekamatwa. Number one. Number one. That's it. That's it. Na no, watu wameanza kuongea. Watu wanaongea, watu wanaongea Mungu sasa. <laughs> watu hapa wanaongea mawazo ya Mungu. Kasa if kuna area shetani ametezea watu ni mawazo. Kasa maybe ulienda maybe uli watch pornography. Hizo video mpaka wa leo ziko kwa mawazo. Kila time unafikiria hivyo. That's why you have power. You have power. Juu ya mind unafaa ku set mind yako na sema no we mimi sitawachi and i believe there's a problem hata watoto wengi sana wamepata mimba kwa sababu wako na simu wanaenda kwa those sites wanaanza kuwatch that's we have so many people wamegire lesbian zim why stronghold kwa mawazo kwa sababu walienda waka watch hiyo kila kitu wanafikiria wanakumbuka video wan, iyo picture inakuwa kwa mind vile waliona ile video wanadhibu ku act exactly that ni stronghold kwa mind tonight in the name of Jesus Christ stronghold zote ziko kwa mind lazima zi disappear in Jesus mighty name mawazo yote mambaya shetani analeta tumeyashika in Jesus mighty name tumeweka chini ya kuti kwa Kristo hai number one. na nafasi ya kufinyilia mawazo ni nini anapata nafasi ya kufinyilia mawazo number one, and renewed mind 
if you fail to renew your mind, Shetani na za tumia your mind. And renewed mind. Taka unitege. If how you renew mawazo yako, Shetani na za pata nafasi anza kukupea wanza kufikiria eh hata huyo mtu naweza muua can you hear this now na hayo si mawazo yako ni ya shetani so if you fail to renew your mind shetani naweza tumia hayo sasa hiyo ni dia moja shetani kutumia mawazo kufero ku renew mawazo yako and renewed mind inaweza tumua na shetani unakuta kombo nafikiria kwamba hapana huyo mtu muharibie biashara huyo mtu mwede kwa uchawi huyo mtu mtumia watu wa mchape huyo mtu muharibie doa yake and renewed mind so that's why you need to renew my wazo so usipo ya renew shetani atatumia number 2 Number two, improper thoughts. Improper thoughts. If kila wakati unakumbarisha mawazo mabaya, mawazo mabaya, mawazo mabaya, shetani anaweza tumia haya mawazo mabaya kufinyiria mind yako. Improper thoughts. For example, tusema kwamba kila time unafikiria juu ya pornography. Unafikiria juu ya lesbians, mnatukia tu mfano. All Unafikiria video tatoka maybe Indian door all Unafikiria vile sasa utaimba pesa kwa una pesa So if unafikiria mawazo mabaya shetani sasa anaweza pata nafasi kwa sababu anapenda hapo And that's what we say ma Paul akiandikia wa Korintho anawaambia mawazo yao Shetani <laughs> wanaweza potozwa kupitia kwa mawazo improper thoughts number three. misunderstanding of god's truth misunderstanding of god's truth misunderstanding of god's truth if how they are the truth Yeah, so fun. Too much pornography leads to masturbation. Then spirit, that's it. Then spirit to husband. That's it. That's it. That's what wengi sana wanararwa na nini. Na ni issue tu kidogo. Ni mawazo tu. Ni mawazo tu. Shetani imekutumia sasa inakuwa sana kifungo. Number three is misunderstanding of God's truth. Remember kile kinakuweka uhuru ni nini? Ni ukweli. Na ukweli ni mtu. Kristo ni ukweli. So you need to know the person Jesus. Maneka Jesus he is the truth. You need to know him. Ukimjua anakuweka huru. The truth will make you. You don't try to make yourself. Wakati umejua the information ya ukweli, wakati umejua Kristo, unakuwa free kwa your mind. So if una misunderstanding of God, if how na ukweli? then if kuna dimension au unakuwa baina sima kwa ukweli meaning lazima ujue dimension zote za Jesus if mejo dimension moja unakuwa kama uko free taka unisikize na unitegea hapa eh mase queen hiyo ni kweli kabisa hiyo tutakuja hiyo ni topic tutakuja ku handle hiyo inaigiria mambo mingi sana kuna milango mingi sana inatumika hapo <laughs> Number four. Evil suggestions. Evil suggestions. Evil suggestions. Maybe it will end up with so called so called so called prophet or prophetess. I can give a message fake na ukazaje si ukabwa kwamba acha bwanako oh fredi akamwambia kombona unatubona una kanini muate 
So hizo ni suggestion mbaya. Ukikubadilisha zikue nani? Shetani atazitumia. Atazitumia. That's why is good wana sana. Kuna suggestion zingine mbaya ukizikubadilisha ndani yako. Shetani atazitumia. Kufunga mawazo yako. Oh, mwambie kwamba unasemaje bwanako ndiri muona amesimama na yule pale. Ah, ni mbaya wana urafiki. Those suggestions. Number five. Number five. Empty mind. Empty mind. If hakuna kitu kwa mawazo, unajua ni devil shop shop. If hauna kitu kwa mawazo, if you don't have the word kwa mawazo yako, shetani anaweza take advantage. If you are empty in your mind. If hakuna kitu mwa kwa mawazo yako. That's why hufai kuwa umekata hivyo kuna kitu mwa kwa mawazo. Ah ah. Lazima ukue mawazo yako yako na word of God. Usiyo na ile basi nasema kwamba roho mbaya zikifukuzwa zinaenda zinakuja na zingine saba zinakuja kuangalia kana kwamba mahali zilikuwa ni empty empty manake zinapenda mahali empty you need to allow the world to control your mind if mind yako ni empty shetani anaweza take advantage ya mawazo yako akuingize kwa mambo mbaya kwa sababu mawazo yako ni empty So it's good to understand. Nataka unielewe. Shetani hana nafasi kwako. Na ndipo Paul akamwambia Efeso, msipe shetani nafasi wapi kwa your mind. Kwa maana hawezi ingia kwa your spirit. Unajua akipata nafasi kwa mind yako, a control mind. So spirit yako itafinyiliwa. So mind without the word of God. Then the last one is passive mind. Passive mind. Passive mind ni another legal ground. Passive mind. Passive mind. Passive mind. Passive mind. Passive mind. Na if kuna watu wengi watu wengi wako hapo passive mind. <laughs> ah. Ya yeah, Safan Mar- Marucha anasema kwamba alienda kwa so called pastor akamwambia mambo mengine mabaya juu ya bwanake. Alafu kutoka hapa na text anamuita babe. <laughs> ay ay ya. <clears throat> so are we together? Kwa hivyo ni wewe tu unaweza pea shetani nafasi kwa mawazo yako. Manake you have the power to set your mind on things above. Au mambo ya kidunia. Then kuna mambo tumeambiwa yale ambayo unafaa kufikiria. Na yale ambayo haufai kufikiria. Hizo ndio tu nimepeana tu ni mingi sana pata mepeana si zile common. Shetani huwa anatumia. Kukamata mawazo ya watu wengi sana. But now look at this. Na nataka unisikize na unitegee. Na siri zingine 
Basi tuniongeze hii sasa. Iko still pale na bado iko kwa sign ya kwamba mawazo yako yamefungwa. Kwa sababu if mawazo yako yamefungwa kila time hata ukilala usiku utakuwa una tu picha mbaya kila time picha mbaya picha mbaya picha mbaya if kila time unaona picha mbaya kwako kila time usiku kwa melala kila time ni picha mbaya tu zinakuja unaota tu picha mbaya ili design ya kwamba shetani yamefunga mawazo yako kila time kila time au fikiria mambo ni wewe fikiria tu mambo yana tu mbaya ana usiku zile ndoto Shetani nakuletea ni zile tu mbaya. Those hiyo ni attack ya mind. Picha mbaya tu ndizo zinakuja. Picha mbaya hata kama hivyo tu, kama hivyo ndizo tu mbaya zinakuja. You need to understand that. That's a sign ya kwamba mawazo yako shetani anayafunga kila time hata ukikaa hivi unakuta kwamba kila tukiko pale tu ni yale tu picha zile unaona kwa mind yako ni mbaya si sahi kwa hivyo unakuta kwamba kuna picha unaona eh kwa hivyo unaona zile unaona picha mbaya ni nini eh, maybe ni kwa sababu ulifungulia mawazo yako ulikuwa mte ukajifungulia kwa pornography then from there ukikaa tu hivyo ndizo sasa kila time kuna ni ili za sahi ya kwamba mawazo yako yanafaa kuwa ni kwa sababu shetani ameyataka nyara na anatumia sasa hiyo jia kukuletea hizo picha mbaya picha mbaya is a sign of bondage of mind. Number two, ni dreams. 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 Kila time una una unaona kama zile dreams zinakuja ni mbaya. Hata unaona kama unalala una wewe usiku dreams mbaya zinashiria kama already mawazo yako yamefungwa. Na una sense unafikiria mambaya mchana di unaota nayo usiku Isa sign kwamba shetani anatumia mawazo yako na what you need is only kukataa hayo mawazo na ku renew your mind maneno hana power juu yako ni wewe tu unaweza mpea dreams zinazashiria kwamba mawazo yako shetani anaya control anayafunga anajaribu ku brighten ili knowledge ya Mungu isingie. Number three is forgetfulness. Forgetfulness. Unakuta kama kila time unasahau sana. Unasahau sana. Usijali nakuja bado. <laughs> nakuja. Wageni nakuja hapo kusahau sana Bible says the memory of the righteous is blessed The memory of the righteous is blessed So memory yetu imebarikiwa So wewe si wakusahau sahau Eh una dream dream na mambo ya past Eh una dream na mambo nini na, na, na Jesus Christ alikuosha kutoka kwa hayo mambo yote So forgetfulness the next one is lack of concentration lack of concentration if mawazo yako yamefungwa au utakuwa na concentrate hata ukifanya kazi hauwezi concentrate hata ukua kama hapa hauwezi concentrate hata watu wengine wao already mawazo yao yamefungwa unasikia kwamba they don't concentrate hata in the church maneno mawazo yamefungwa they don't have concentration lack of concentration So another one is inability to think inability to think Wewe bro unasema tu unasahau unasahau remote iko kwa mkono na unatafuta ni kweli au fuguo unaenda unaichukua unafuga nyumba unaitafuta 30 minutes na umeshika fungua hivi Imagine Lack of concentration 
Unakuna kama una, unajaribu kufikiria. Usaidi kwa kuna sura inafikiria nini? Na ulikuwa unafikiria, hauwezi hapa fikiria kitu. Shetani na nini? You need to put down haya mawazo na kataa. Naambia kwamba shetani I resist you. Lazima mind yako na your spirit isikuwe zimekuwa aligned ili Holy Spirit akitumia spirit na wakuja control mind mind i control body. <laughs> Kwanza hapo eh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you need to understand that. Na ni vema sana kutangazia mawazo yako by the way. Unasema mawazo yangu yamebarikiwa in the name of Jesus Christ. It is good to declare you are a king. The word of a king is law. The word of a king is constitution. The word of a king carries power. Ni vema sana kujitangazia mambo mazuri sana. <laughs> so Ile ingine by the way <laughs> ni tokatifu. Unaweza kukuta kwamba mtu si tokatifu. Bado wakati sasa unakuta kwamba <laughs> wakati sasa mawazo yake yamefungwa, anaongea, anaongea. Oh wow. <laughs> Safi so, kabwe anasema kwamba ni, ni, ni mgeni hapa anasema kwamba anafira ana mabadiliko. Unaongea usiku toka kwamba wakati mtu <laughs> ako na stress ako depressed anaongea leo anaongea anakuambia mpaka unajaribu kusikiza kile anakuambia hata uelewi anaongea anaongea unajaribu kuongea au una nafasi anaongea tokatifu. Zana na zana na sign ya kwamba mawazo yako shetani Uh, anajaribu kuya control ameashika mawazo yako ameshikwa mawazo yako ameshikwa that's another sign mawazo yako ameshikwa Eh uh, ma- masikini by the way tuna tuko hapo by the way masikini tuko hapo that's why unakuta kwamba haya mambo yako tuna that's why unaona kwamba tumeangalia mambo ya soul time mambo ya mind still hatujaangalia body hatujaangalia body na fresh hapo ndipo watu wengi wamekamatiwa so that's why haya mambo taangalia manake tumebakisha tu kanisa moja and i believe on Monday to itako to handle tuimalize then tukuje hizi topic na i know kuna watu wengi sana wana maswali tumeongea about so ties sikupea watu nafasi ya kuuliza maswali tunaongea about kufungwa kwa mwili hadi ongea juu ya sasa bondage sasa yale mambo yanafunga mwili wako sasa fresh and body ni nini kinafanyika haya mambo tuyatambua so the other sign is stubbornness 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 Unakuta kwamba mtu ni stubborn. Ana ukimwambia kitu ni stubborn. Naza sign ya kwamba mawazo yake yamefungwa. Stubborn ni stubborn. Ukimwambia unaweza mwambia kudora ni stubborn stubborn na hakuwa hivyo. Hakuwa hivyo. Maana kwa wakati mawazo yake yamefungwa unakuwa stubborn. Unaweza sikiwa mtu ni mzuri sana. Ah uh, but can I say I had you preaching about declaring the freedom of our mind and my story was changed completely. Yeah, by the Benki Benki mna testimony kali sana. Thank you. I know testimony yako video ni ni ni. Eh ulitamka na that one that one una testimony ya mind of sana nisikie your testimony nikajengeka sana. It is good to profess hiyo mawazo yako. Hata unaambia mawazo in the name of Jesus Christ. Unasema kwamba I carry the mind of Christ. That's it. I carry the mind of Christ. It is good to know your comrade is what to call the positional righteousness and the practical righteousness. But akazako ziko kwa your position. You need to speak them. They talk from your stand to your state. You speak them and you have power. Una declare mawazo kuna sema kwamba mawazo yangu hayatafungwa. Sitakosa ku concentrate. Sitakamata na ijabu na nikamata. Aya mawazo mimi akata you have power. 
That's it. So, <laughs> um, the other thing is phenomenon of eyes. Issue na mato. Issue na mato. Phenomenon of eyes. Unaweza sikia kwamba if mtu mawazo yake yamekamatwa au utakuta kwamba wakati mwingine ana concentrate na mahali pamoja tu hivyo for a long time. Ana mkiongea baka sasa tu na macho yake ameangalia tu pale. Hata anaweza kuwa amekuangalia tu hivi. Na hakuna kitu anaelewa. Unaweza kuta mtu anasoma mpaka Bible. Kwa Bible anaangalia Bible anaangalia Bible na hakuna kitu inaingia kwa mind. So macho ya mtu Unaweza angalia macho ya mtu mkoo amekana mtu na unajua kwamba huyu mtu amefungwa. Eh. Hey. <laughs> Sony Helen koge koge katari koge gaya. Unakuta mtu wako ameshika Bible ameshika Bible hivi. Ameangalia unaweza fikiria kwamba amesoma. Au unakuta mtu ameangalia hapa ameangalia hapa na hako hapo paka unamgoka anastuka hivi. Ai. Imagine ndiye tu place moja na hako hapo mawazo yake yako mbali sana unakuta hii kitu imemfunga mpaka kwa kazi watu wanajua sasa and that's why mtu ana problem sana sana mawazo yamefungwa unaweza understand if unamjua mkikana yote unakuwa kwa mato Ah. Ya baada ya hiyo ni sign hiyo namalizia nayo. Sasa unakuta kwamba kuna watu ambao hawapati usingizi usiku. Tazee unakuta kwamba kuna mtu ambaye wakati mawazo yako yameshikwa au usingizi haupati. Unaenda kule unakuta kwamba the whole night unaangalia pa. Naangalia tu roof hakuna kitu just like that. Au pato sikizi remember mimi nasema kwamba watu ambao Mungu anawapenda anawapea usingizi. So Mungu anapea watu wake usingizi. Very important. That's it. That's it. So many people kwanza wako hapo. Hawa usingizi kamwe So that's why you need to understand the power ile umebeba That's why ni vyema sana kutumia maneno ya kinywa chako ni vyema sana kujinenea ni vyema sana before utabiriwe mambo fake jitabiriwe wewe mwenyewe you are a prophet in your family you are a prophet to yourself kile kimeandikwa kwa Bible prophesy kitangaze kwako kidikirie kwako kispeak kwako that's it uh, so nataka unitege hapa no ana Bible inasema namba gani first peter chapter 1 verse number 13 have a prepared mind prepared mind then you saw me that verse first peter chapter number 1 verse number 13 eh kuna kukura kuzuri but kuna kukura kugine sasa ni beyond nakuta kuna mtu ambaye anakura kuna watu bomi ni sasa ifanya deliverance na kukuta kwa bwana kura sana. Na kura kabisa na kura kura chakula unakuta hii chakula hapana. Hii si ya mtu mmoja. Unakuta kwamba hapa kuna mapepo anazaidiana kukura. Bado kukura si vibaya kuna ile kukura nomo. but kuna kukura abonomo. Bado kukura si kitu mbaya.
Sa get this now. First Peter chapter number 1 verse number 13. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Time yangu menikimbiza. Thank you manake Felix my point before. Therefore with mind, uh, therefore prepare your mind for action. Be self controlled. Set your hope fully. Ah, on the grace to be given you when Christ Jesus is revealed. Can you see that? Prepare your mind for action. Meaning, if you have unprepared minds, akuna hatua unaweza ichukua. That's why you need to prepare your mind. If kuna hatua fulani unataka kutoa, you need a prepared mind. You need a prepared mind. Very important. So I'm going to another verse. You need a prepared mind. <laughs> yeah. Ah, Kevin Hivo. Na jambo pato ni yonge to story to a deliverance. Ki excuse story za deliverance zingine unasikiza? Ai. Na na unakuta kwamba haionekani mahali inaenda. Unajua sasa kuna mtu anaweza kuna na inaonekana mahali inaenda. Unakuta mtu anakula na haionekani inaenda wapi? So angalia hii verse ni very important. First Corinthians chapter number 14 verse number 20. First Corinthians chapter number 14 verse number 20. On Monday tulikuwa na time nzuri sana by the way. Ya 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 kuwa na wakati wa maombi mazito sana. First Corinthians chapter number 14. First Corinthians 14 verse number 20. Hii nataka unitegee. Ah, namalizia by the way time yangu imeisha. Oy. Hiyo time nayo sasa hainiruhusu kufanya kile abati nilikuwa nimeamua. Aha. First Corinthians 14 20. <laughs> First Corinthians 14 verse number 20. Bado nasema una gani sikize? Brothers, stop nisikize, stop thinking like children. <laughs> In regard to in regard to evil, be infants. But in your thinking, be adults. Can you hear that? Pull in a problem, sana. That's why we're problems. And that's what we're gonna find a bomb by sana. That's what we're gonna pack when you can sell our corindo. Could you incest? When I'm your brothers, stop thinking like children. <laughs> Imagine what was Zima when I'm a couple of Kiria Kamo at Toto. When I'm a couple of Kumambo Yatambi, Kumambo Yamambaya. Get this regarding to evil being fights, Kumbo Mamma Mkua Watoto. Then, but in your thinking, be adult. Imagine. But you can't witness my sister got you got out of Hirutea. <laughs> Glory to God. That's it. I'm going another verse of Katina Marizia. Naini ya muhimu sana. First Peter chapter number four verse number seven. In a sermon on Agani, be sober-minded. Be sober-minded. To na faku mature in thinking. Divi yabo mu mese ma pala kuwa kolindo. Then First Peter chapter number four verse number seven. Be sober-minded. Be sober-minded. Ah. Be sober minded. First Corinthians chapter number 2 verse number 15. And sikisina sana kwamba have the mind of Christ. Have the mind of Christ. Have the mind of Christ. First Corinthians 2 15 and 16 have the mind of Christ have the mind of Christ mm. 
Wacha nisome hii nikimalizia sasa. <laughs> First Corinthians 1:10. Wacha hii nisome nikimalizia. Inasema namna gani? First Corinthians 1:10. First Corinthians 1:10. I appeal to you, brothers, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that all of you agree with one another so that there may be no division among you that you may be perfectly united in mind and thought you are supposed to be united na wakristo wao wengine kimawazo be united in mind and thought so unafaa ku unite na watu wao wengine kimawazo United in mind with other Christians. Be united in mind with other Christians. Ndivyo Bible inasema. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So anyway, tukona maombi on Monday nikiendelea beyond there hiyo ni topic kubwa sana but it is good at least hapa tumefikisha u understand hayo mambo najua kwamba mawazo yako yamekuwa renewed vile uko nasikiza na wacha nirudie kile ambacho nalitabiria kile ambacho natamka kwa kumataza lot tabiria mawazo yako na nia mawazo yako Tangaza kwamba shetani hana nguvu juu ya mawazo yako. Wewe mwenyewe hata before tukuombe. Tangaza hivyo. Ku unapenda kusikiza neno la Bwana. Maana it is through the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Eh hiyo acha tu niisome. Kwa sababu it is very very important. Wacha nisome hiyo sasa hili sasa wale ambao na waniuliza swali hapa waelewe. Ah. Kuna vasa nataka kuisoma hapa. Ambao nataka kila mtu aisikize. Maana ni muhimu sana. Muhimu sana. Maana kibi nasema kwamba get this now. <laughs> First Peter chapter number 4 First Peter chapter number 4 First Peter chapter number 4 <laughs> Ah my my sin nasema kwamba tuongeza dakika 10 Ah tomorrow ni Sunday Unajua tomorrow ni Sunday bado tuko hapa tuna 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 maumivu sana tunazidi kusoma even tomorrow Tuko hapa tomorrow And you can see it after that even after this Hebu sikize yana mambo tumeanena hapa. Pole pole tu we mwenyewe. Sikize pole pole tu we mwenyewe. Uyasikize pole pole tu. Manaka lazima yatabadilisha wewe kabisa. Wacha nikusoma hii verse hapa. The end of all this all things is near therefore be clear minded and self control so that you can pray as it Maana kuna kuta kwamba wakati mawazo yako Bwana nisikize tumesema kwamba jia moja na ile muhimu sana ya ku renew mind it is through the knowledge it is through the knowledge through the knowledge so the information you receive you change mind like now in information mekupea una change mind that's one thing then number two, you have power over your mind so kile ambacho unafaa kufanya una power ya kukata hizo ndoto sema kwamba kwa nini siko leo hizi ndoto mai hazita kuja kwa my mind maana yake you have power kukata dia moja ni through the hearing of the word maana yake knowledge knowledge Very very important. 
Wacha nikusomea hii verse ambayo ndio kusomea hapo pale. Ah. Ha hebu nisikize hapa. Angalia Colossians 3, Colossians 3 verse 9. Colossians 3 verse 9. Colossians 3 verse 9. Do not write to each other things you have taken of your old self with its practices and have put on the new self which has been renewed which has been renewed which has been renewed in the knowledge in the knowledge in the image of its creator the renewal is in the knowledge Remember the old self, the old self is soul. The old self is soul. Maana tunasema kwamba soul inakupea self consciousness. That's soul. That's your mind. Unafaa kubaiba nasema kwamba yule mtu wa nini? Yule mtu wa zamani unamuondoa. Mimi nguna power over your mind. Ya power na mkata. Colossians 3 Verse 9 and verse 10 very very important verse 10 So you renew your mind through your knowledge na kuna ndoto mbaya zinakuja you have power unakataa unasema kwamba hizi ndoto mbaya nimezikataa in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that's it If ni mapepo na leta hizi ndoto rebuke those demons Say in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am a people hata leta ndoto mbaya. Before nikuja kuokoka nilikuwa na hata ndoto mbaya sana. That was the reason why I didn't coke. And before you coke ni kumpaka na kaliwa kifua. Kwa tu kwa tunasubura na madhini nilikuwa na nyombo sana. I rebuked those spirits. They disappeared mpaka leo huwa natabiria my mind na nia mawazo yako sema kwamba i have the mind of christ na utaonta ndoto mbaya umeikataa haitapata nafasi that is good to angalia it is good kuangalia kana kwamba maybe uh, what you are doing kwa sababu naweza kuwa maybe una watch pornography unasikiza tu report mbaya zinaweza fungulia mlango kwa zile ndoto mbaya so it's good kusema kwamba hiyo milango nimeifunga shetani hata itumia it is a sign na hiyo kitu inadisa pia tumoro tuko na ibada saa tano kali sana kali sana Tour of principles of David to the throne. It's principle 12. Kutoka David anaoitiwe kwenda kwa throne, kuna principles 12 zilimsaidia mpaka afike kwa throne, mpaka afikie destiny yake. Kuna principles 12 alitumia. Tomorrow, tangalia all those tour of principles you need to understand. Very very important. Na mimi nakwamba kila mmoja akisikiza those principles life yako itakuwa the same again. Itakuwa the same again. Eh ni si usiku ni mtana sasa. Ni mtana. Na nisikize nimekwambia kwamba I had the same same problem. Doto maya mimi nimeota. Mimi nimenyongwa kwa tumefuatwa na majini kwa tumepigwa na mawe kwa kulikuwa kuna bisho mpaka mlango my brother can be a witness but we stood firm tulikuwa tumetabiliwa sana tumepiga chumvi huko sana Mimi ndio mpaka hiyo mchanga wa kwetu by the way I believe this one day sasa tukuje kuonyesha kwamba vile creation in our base sons creation in our base sons na unisikize that's why any time called the testament mtu akitenda dhambi creation ile kwa ina fight mimi if you are righteous creation inafaa kukubak hata mchanga hata miti inafaa ku work for your own benefit I will teach you that I will prove to you that creation in a back sands that's what the bible says creation is waiting for the manifestation of sands 
That's why I please ukiniwekea kitu kwa mchanga maana I am a son kile umeweka kwa mchanga lazima mchanga utakataa kwa sababu lazima mchanga ucooperate Woo! That's why Cain Hii topic inaifundisha creation in our best sons That's why anybody bin adamu kitenda dhambi ground ilikuwa inamkataa Cain ground ikamkataa Kora wakamezwa na ground Adam ground ikamkataa Watu wa kwa Canaan ground ikawakataa why Manake ground in our best sons we are sons ground lazima ituombe anybody atajaribu nisikize nitangaza hii anybody atajaribu kutumia mchanga kuroge anybody atajaribu kupanda kitu kibaya kuroge i declare kikiwekwa kwa mchanga mchanga utakataa manake mchanga unakuwa be you are son na creation in god the father manifestation of sons yeah <laughs> By then me yana ni me yana ni me yana I have it and I'm me reason me andika yote you need to hear that at at most at nini kuna watu wengi sana kwa bible i'm going to show you biblically walipokuwa tena tambi ground na wakataa lakini sisi sisi ground na tukubali so don't miss tomorrow don't miss tomorrow Who knows kana kwamba vile Mungu anataka who knows kana kwamba anaweza sema ati magitaka nasema kwamba we need that topic <laughs> Take care tomorrow who knows kana kwamba Mungu anaweza sema tuongee hiyo Take care tomorrow Take care tomorrow very very important Take care tomorrow Ah I will show you those things So my number wale bwana uliza my number number 0726511792 0726511792 Naraka <laughs> Kuna watu wanasema kwamba hiyo topic wanaipata wanaitaka tomorrow. Wewe tege hapo, maybe naweza ipata. Yeah, wow, mimi 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 ground ya Greece. Ah, I wish this one. Ay 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 Hey my god, hey my god. Umekuwa ukipiga hiyo namba. Sasa nani amesema kwamba umekuwa ukipiga hiyo namba? Ah, piga piga nini? Ah. Piga tomorrow, nipigie tomorrow saa kumi after tukimaliza nini? Niki relax kidogo tutaongea. Tomorrow nipigie saa kumi hivi after kumaliza salmon alafu tukue pamoja. Baba katika jina takatifu la Bwana Yesu Kristo in the name of Jesus tunataka whoever you are wacha tunane hayo mawazo katika jina la Yesu Kristo maybe umekuta kwamba hauwezi au concentrate na kitu kimoja maybe haupati usingizi na raga as we pray although man tukona mambo mazito hapa believe God right now ya kwamba there is something that is going to happen in your life Nene hayo mawazo just one minute as I pray. Believe go and I believe mawazo yako right now. Mawazo yako yanakuwa renewed in Jesus mighty name. Father in the name of Jesus Christ. Hawa natangaza mawazo yamefunguliwa Father. Mawazo yamefunguliwa. Watapata usingizi Jehovah God. Chochote baba shetani alikuwa analeta kwa mawazo yao tumekiondoa. Tumeteka nyara mawazo mabaya. Tumeteka nyara mawazo kishetani. Tumeteka nyama nyara mawazo mo hayarigani na maandiko yako. In Jesus mighty name tumetangaza kwa nyesi kwa leo mawazo yamefunguliwa mawazo yamefunguliwa mawazo yamefunguliwa baba mawazo yamefunguliwa hao watu watakusikia hao watu watakuelewa hao watu neno litawaingia hao watazuiliwa tena in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ natangaza maajabu natangaza miujiza baba natangaza baba favor from now and i declare they are free na chochote kilikuwa kinawafunga baba kime disappear na ushindi baba umeonekana na nguvu Jehovah God yako nguvu zako baba zimedhihirika laino in Jesus name in Jesus name Jesus name you are maybe you're not saved sema Mungu katika jina la Yesu Kristo nakubali kazi yako ya msalaba kwa nia siku ya leo nimeamini ulifufuka na nimekiri kwa kinywa changu 
wewe Yesu ni bwana katika jina la Yesu Kristo na mimi nimeokoka amen na amen na amen amen father umewalida hawa na muasimamisha kwa neema yako na nguvu zako in jesus name amen and amen maybe unasikia kwamba naguzwa na Mungu kwamba want to give an offering no problem unasema kwamba want to connect with that grace father in jesus mighty name wale wanasema kwamba wamebeba offering zao na tangaza Jehovah God wanapotoa wanaposhukuru bwana hawatawaikosa in jesus name Amen and amen. So tomorrow don't miss. Who knows kana kwamba ndio Mungu atasema kwamba tuongee juu ya creation vile na obey sons. Na nikuonyesha kwamba vile unaweza nenea creation anywhere you go. Cloud na kutii. Woo! Hey, hey. My 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 my. Thank you. Wala bwana mfuatilie God bless you so much. I know mawazo yako yamechange pia to. Na roma mawazo yamechange. Eh uh, kama Royce It is Ezra and your coffee. Kageni smart we ni Mase Queen Grades. I declare mawazo yenu sasa mna mawazo ya Mungu sasa. You have the mind of God. Catherine you have the mind of God now. Magi the mind of God. <laughs> Margaret, it is now the mind of God. Lily, Lilian, it is the mind of God. By the way, Thank you Felix. We have that number. Maybe nasema kwamba nataka kutoa my tithe. You have that number. You can use that number by the way. Can I use that number no problem. I want to give my tithe. Ta kutoa his sacrifice because of the work of God. Mekoni mabakiru sana. Mwanza tambii ni tuwe kwa ajili ya Mungu. No problem. Grades my na Sara Emily. Mombi. Ah unasema kwamba umeelewa. Pasa please remember to let her hear topic weekdays <laughs> any topic unajua tukihubiri bado utaiona kwa youtube na utaiona hapa so i no problem don't mind rudugadu kafra jiona sema kwamba mind iko liberated rose mera sema kwamba great teaching dan can bogo ah na leo leo nimeona Anton Mwangi Anton Mwangi ayu au kwa job Safan Maruti Ah Nims <laughs> Wakibe unasema namna gani eh, to my classmate <laughs> wow 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 Wajef <laughs> Julia Okay Sony Helen anasema kwamba Iris yes yes yeah. thank you na kuanzia moyo jitangazie tangazia kwamba you have the mind of Christ Ya yeah, kuna kusahau sahau tena hiyo kitu imedisappear. <laughs> eh. Mero ilimo thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Na bana saka moto akasho jo. Ah uh, you cannot afford to miss that one by the way ilikuwa muhimu sana renewed mind from today just fine agree with you Mawazo amekuwa renewed sasa yako renewed kabisa sasa Yes Ah By faith you can do it we can do all things all things Yeah Abid all things Mungu abariki sana God bless you so much Ah. Ah, thank you, thank you Stephens. Watu wengi sana wamesema kwamba wamebarikiwa so many people. Yeah, hiyo ground lazima ikukubali. Oh my good. Yes. Juan Karori, that was powerful. If we ni mgeni Uh, tukitoka ukisign out niambie ni mara ya kwanza kuwa hapa ah uh, yeah, kaboy amesema namba ya kwanza ruth huyo uh, ni mwenyeji <laughs> alpha how are you doing eh? mungu abariki sana god bless you tupatane tomorrow don't miss tomorrow any of those topics inaweza tokea tomorrow 
na Mungu atanena. <coughs> Haleluya. <laughs> ah, yeah, wageshi anasema kwamba good night watu wapatane tomorrow. God bless you. Have a wonderful wonderful night and again ni mchana and a shalom. <laughs>